We have an arena game. I am gonna play Portuguese and do Fast Imp Fetoria Arbalest. I'm gonna dominate. We are gonna... Oh shit, Malay. I will show you guys the danger this is. I went hand cannoneers last time. This time I'm gonna go Arbalest and show you how to dominate. And you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. Vittoria mainly gives food. Not if you have 10 of them. Uh, it gives mainly food, yes. But that's the thing, you just don't have any farmers. And put everyone else, all your villagers, goes to wood and gold. And then you dominate. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. How do you delete multiple walls like that? You hold shift and click delete. Thing is so back. I'm not sure what right ra rating he is right now, but he I think he used to be like 2k1 on Wubly. So it's definitely a decent player. Did I find all my sheep? I don't think did I? What do we have here? Four, five, six. I think I'm missing. No, I think I have all actually. Never mind. Take it back. Yeah, I definitely have all. Here inside as well, it's nice. Very nice indeed. Wipe a map pack. We do have a pretty good map. The only thing that I would maybe say it's not the greatest is our stone. But uh, we can work with that. His highest is 23.50 on Wubli, okay. And even better than I first thought. Why go Malay on Arena? Because of the age up. Yeah, Malay are maybe the best save in Arena. Because um, the uptime means you have so much potential to adapt to whatever happens. And you have so many dangerous tools in your in your closet. So it's basically spring. <laughs> I, like spring is the weirdest specimen on this earth. He can play a great game of Age of Empires. He can pretty much play 2319 and, and well, okay, that's too much. 2300 and 1200 in the sa very same game. That's how his rating jumps. In the same game. It's weird. I'm not sure if I would say his mic was insanely good, but it's definitely good on that. Yes, yeah, Spring is just a weird player. <laughs> it's just a weird player. Well... <laughs> You should never have said that you tie with doubt on Micromania, Matt. That's quite embarrassing. Don't know why you would say that to the public. You could have just said that Spring always beats you, and that would have been fine. But now you just embarrassed yourself in front of everyone. Karambits are good too. Uh, Karambits aren't... Amazing. They're a decent unit in mass, but they're not amazing. They don't have amazing stats or anything. You are doing a salsa run. You want dude, I would love some salsa, man. I would love some salsa. I'm actually getting hungry. I can eat in like a little bit of an hour. For football training. 
volle construire la nuova It's a bad house. I would block a lot with my pathing as I reinforce my wood lines. Bad, bad, bad. I blame you that I got goth rushed every third game since the last patch. It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. I merely showed people what my opinion is and what I have, what I was worried about when they made this balance change. Which I also told them, by the way. Oh, I have a boar! I have a second boar. I'm doing good, Adelana. How about you? How about yourself? Would you prefer current balance or old patch for head and cup? Uh, current. Because it's fresh, it's exciting. It means Vietnamese might be like a surprise pick for some people. Maybe goth. It's a lot of potential with a new patch. Potentially, we would like to explore. Um, I'm seeing now we're quite far away actually, which is not ideal for our strategy. But I guess we have to live with it. Let's go for this one first. What do you think playing Overwatch? Did you have a favorite? Oh, uh, Overwatch. Um, did I have a favorite character? Maybe um, McCree. Or Genji. No, not Genji. McCree, maybe. I also love to play D.Va when she was broken as hell. I like to play Tracer. Um, yeah, I didn't really have like a one standout clear, clear favorite. It is not a fast imp Fatoria Bomber Tower Rush, but it is a fast imp into... Like, I'm doing this pr in a proper way. This is... I think this strategy is a legit strategy that can be really good. So I'm trying to explore that a little bit. Do you smell pizza with Fatoria topping? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Only time will tell. But I get a little bit of a sense of that as well, I must say. I'm not going full Fatoria, I'm just going majorly, major, ma ma majority Fatoria. That helps. Ready to fight, sir. I don't know if this is going on stone too this early. It's probably a mistake actually. I don't think it makes too much sense. this fight I'm not gonna make any more farms uh, maybe a little bit actually because I need food still but uh, we cannot afford to fight for relics not yet anyway Ooh, we won that fight that helps I do go mining don't think I can afford it Yes, I will go fast imp. That is the plan. Might have to sell, use the market a little bit to balance. That's why I don't think going on stone this early is a good idea. 
So I will have to use the market now. Has inverse malaise is giving you anxiety. <laughs> Understandably so. Super shop is a big tell about my strategy here. The monastery, I think so. So we made another scout, so he has a stable. This obviously means that monastery is probably going to follow. Still loom. Two food. Thank you. So I'm thinking now, do I actually drop a castle? No, I need a stone for Fatoria. Complicated. Any stress from Sobek you're worried about? Right now I'm not worried about any strategy, but I know I he can go anything pretty much. He is Malay. So what I need food for is actually I don't, yeah I need chemistry I need bomber cannons so I do actually need chemistry first I'm gonna take a selfie but I keep saying that should be a monk here but first we get a Fittoria or two. I'm gonna pretend I ran up, but I actually ran down. He's gonna intercept me on the top. I'm actually going on down. <laughs> Door baited. So I need houses now. I can afford two Fatora right away. Maybe this build is actually better. Taking stone like this. Maybe it's actually better. The hot key for Fatoria, tell me. H. Fair enough. So the thing is, I don't think he's expecting Arbalest. I think he will be expecting Hank and Nears, which makes sense. Can we get a third Praetoria before I move this any further? 250 stone. Shouldn't be too hard to achieve. Why? 
Okay. Chemistry is done. Drun. Chemistry is done. Get that. Let's get armor. Probably works better if we're close to our opponent, but obviously we cannot control that. Yeah, let's get crossbow. Alright. Three of them. Start losing. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Yes. Did the food count now? Well, we revealed our crossbow choice. Food is just flying up now. Actually, wood is my issue right now. I can almost afford another Petoria as well. This is 25 minutes now. I guess we are on a time window now to actually accomplish something. We're getting closer anyway. That's the issue, we're a little bit too far away. But uh, let's see. Oh, well, that's not a great start. <laughs> not a great start at all. Fuck, don't tell me yes. Why are they walking backwards? It's freaking me out. That is 100% freaking me out. I feel like he has redemption, right? Why else would his monks be moving like that? I did waste a lot of units there, that's bad. Need ballistics. Alright. No, 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 no. Split. Okay. Bad booms. Oh shit, that's a big army. It's a castlage army though, to be fair. That is a castlage army. That's what I'm saying, he probably expected fat hand cannoneers. So he's going full skirm arbalest. Which makes sense. Let's go. Why do I have... Oh, I built a university instead of a freaking Fatoria. Oh, my God. My God. Okay, he should be hitting him soon. Oh, Scheiße, Dorf! Elephantos left and right. I'm almost maxed out. Not too bad. Hmm. 
Not sure if I like this or not by him. I think this is a good choice or not. I don't know yet. Why do my units keep stopping? This is so annoying. Alright, let's go. Man, look at my food. My food is amazing. This is a good thing about Arbalest. If you go for that instead of... Uh, Instead of Ankeners, you have micro potential. That you do not have with other sips. You actually did a pretty good. Problem with Malay elephants is they don't have that much armor, right? That's not ideal. Great. They're still doing a decent job. Look at my resources. I can I have enough resources to make units for days. And the good thing is my eco is working non-stop. Because it's all about the Victoria. Look at my food. I could go paladin. If I wanted to. I could go paladin. Alright, so again, I'm not sure if I agree with his decision. I like that he dealt like open squirms archers first, that was fine. But the elephant addition, not too sure about that one. I think maybe input would have been better after that, but I still feel like this strategy could have a lot of potential. Obviously, hand cleaners would pack a punch earlier because of the you only need chemistry and then you start pumping. But if you go Arbalest as well, maybe opening hand cleaners and then switching into Arbalest midway through once you have the resources for it could also be a really nice move. How many Fetoras do we have? Six. Nice. Let's look at the achievements here. We, we had almost 2,000 more food than him. And more gold, more stone. He also stopped making bills to deal with this, which I guess is the right decision. Actually, I don't think you can stop with bills in hindsight because then 30 village difference, but I have six Fatoria working, which probably amounts up to maybe 60 villagers at the end. 50, 60 bills. I'm not too sure about that. I'm definitely gonna play around more with Fate. If you guys see someone going Fatoria rush in Hidden Cup, might have an idea of who it is. <laughs> 